Welcome back to the Michigan Business Be brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. We are at the uh, Holman House studio today broadcasting, and uh, we are running down to Wixom, Michigan. And uh, that's especially an important trip if you need your dog cared for. And I'll tell you all about that in just a second. We have Steve and Nikki uh, Darwin with us. They are co-owners of Houndstown USA. And uh, welcome. I feel like I should be barking or something. I don't know. <laughs> right. Hello. There's it's a little good, barking in the background, but yeah, well, there may be, as a matter of fact, um, welcome to the show, first of all, and uh, what we're doing, we're going to tell your little story because you have just recently, this is almost what you'd call breaking news, uh, opened a, uh, a dog uh, care facility. Tell me a little bit about that, where it's at and where like your service area. Yeah, so uh, Houndstown, USA. So we just opened our location here April 9th. Uh, so this past weekend was our grand opening or our soft opening. Um, and we're located in Wixom. So, you know, just around the Novi, South Lyon, Wixom, um, obviously the Walled Lake area as well and other surrounding communities. So we are the home to the happiest dogs on earth. We're a fully interactive doggy daycare. Uh, we do dog and cat uh, boarding, grooming, spa services. And we also have a pet taxi service. A pet taxi service. They, do. they don't drive themselves, I guess. No. no. No, they do not. So you you'll go pick somebody up and bring them back. Is absolutely. Yep. Well, yep. Pick up and drop off services for boarding, daycare, uh, whatever it may be. All right. So your service area then must be a pretty good size, Nikki. Is that right? It is. It, we have a large area. We have many cars passing through. So there's a lot of dogs around us, a lot of dog owners. So let me ask you, knowing your exit, basically, um, do you get people who are uh, on their way to uh, D, uh, DTW, Detroit Airport, going away for a week and drop their dogs? I would think that would Absolutely, be yeah. I mean, we have um, people from 30 miles west heading in. We have people, it's every direction stopping by because like you said, we are close to that big interstate right there. So it helps. All right. So, so let's get to the, uh, to, the, to the real guts of what I wanted to ask you about. And that is, you've opened a doggy uh, facility. Uh, you've opened Houndstown USA. You, you're obviously passionate about this. Dog lovers, I'm sure. And I recognize them because I'm one. Yep. Um, you had actual jobs, good jobs before this. Tell you me did. about that. Tell, tell everybody yeah. what you did. Yeah, so I was a, a divisional CFO um, of a large uh, publicly traded company, uh, been in finance all of my career, um, became unfortunately semi-retired, uh, call it at the beginning of COVID with nothing to do. We've always talked about, you know, our dream, my dream specifically is always to, always has been to be a small business owner, you know, deep ties to the community um, that we live and serve. Um, and, you know, with, at the beginning of COVID, I became unemployed, had nothing better to do. Uh, we've always looked at, um, you know, franchising kind of in the restaurant space. Um, and when I became uh, semi-retired, we had the ability to finally start looking at that. Obviously, that was in May or June-ish of 2020 at the beginning of COVID, right? Um, and obviously, the restaurant world was kind of shut down. And we thought, that might not be a very good idea to do. Um, so, you know, this concept came by and, and uh, it, it happened really quickly, um, all said and done. The construction took forever to finally get us to this place, uh, but the process and everything took, uh, was very quick. Um, and, uh, you know, we found Houndstown, when Nikki and I flew out to Ron Conklin, New York, we met the founder, Mike, and the CEO, Jackie, and things just went quickly from there. Wow, awesome. Nikki, did you work also? Um, I have been working for nursing on and off. It was kind of hard with his schedule with the international travel he did with our kids at home. Um, and it, nursing has changed a lot. And I love dogs. We have five of our own. So this was kind of like perfect for me. So you, yeah, you, were, already, you were already a houndstown. Yeah, we were <laughs> mini daycare at our house. Right. Absolutely. So you have a little bit of acreage, obviously, I would think some property so that the dogs can come and they run a little bit, et cetera. How many can you can you take on? Oh, we could fit hundreds in the building, to be honest with you. We have a 13,000 square foot fully climate controlled uh, facility here in Wixom with another 2,500 square feet of play areas that is outdoors. Um, so, I mean, it, we could take on, we got six large indoor play areas where 
um, you know, our groupings of our pups are located. Um, and yeah, so it's 13,000 square feet, all indoors, climate controlled year round. Um, it's a beautiful facility. Unbelievable to go from one to the other, like literally, and now you look back, probably feels like overnight. So, so tell me a little bit about the importance of having this type of a facility in a community. Um, well, first of all, when we moved here, we noticed there was a little bit lacking. You know, there just wasn't a lot of places if we needed to board our dogs. And so that kind of started the conversation a few years ago. And um, it's a fully interactive dog daycare. So they get socialization. They get anxiety out, they get exercise, and they just become better pack members. And that will in turn be a better pack member in your house. There's well, no destructive no. chewing, no hyperactivity. They just come home and they have the Houndstown hangover. <laughs> you know, I don't know about your dogs, but my dogs have a sitter, so to speak. And they, when we drop them off, it's like, they don't look back. It's like, okay, <laughs> go, go away for a week, you're fine. Right, the dogs run in here and they're ready to go. They yeah. know where they're at. Well, congratulations on all this, and we wish you the best. As a matter of fact, you may see me with uh, Baxter and Walter here somewhere in the future. Oh, that'd be great. Look forward to seeing you. Steve and uh, Nikki Darwin, uh, co-owners of Houndstown USA in Wixom, Michigan. Uh, like I say, good luck. Thanks for being on the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman. We'll be back with more.